as you can see, Mike Larry was doing real good until he started eating certain foods that don't go with his blood type. And it's just an example of what eating the wrong foods basically your blood type can do. Boils, you have arthritis, gout, even death by eating foods is not good for your blood type. A um, blood type O and pork is definitely not good for blood type O. 46% of Americans are blood type O. But you understand bacon is everywhere. So this is just an example of what foods can do to you by eating the wrong blood type. Mike Larry, can you give us an insight of what's going on lately, man? Talk to me. Okay, what's going on is this. I I'm, I'm was healing very fine. And now I say I was. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking that, you know what I'm saying, that maybe the drinks wasn't working. Maybe the medicine that wasn't working. But I was wrong. The doctor, went to the doctor because I really am sick and tired of being in pain from my head. So this is what happened. Come to find out, I'm allergic to pork. Pork caused me to have balls. So basically, when, when you were doing the, the treatment, you were doing good. You were like, well, I'm good now, so I don't have to yeah, but eat I wasn't, no more. But you know, I wasn't eating pork either. You know? Yeah, you wasn't. You wasn't. I mean, and then I thought about it. I wasn't eating pork. And it wasn't about, you know what I'm saying, like I'm Muslim or 5% or, mm -hmm. or anything that none believe it. Like, I'm not eating pork because of religion. Mm -hmm. No. I just, you know, wasn't eating pork because of the people that I was around. They didn't eat pork. Mm -hmm. So by they didn't eat pork, I had to eat what they eat. Yeah. I'm not a person that, you know, is picky about what I eat, but I am picky about who cooked my food. I feel you. So this is what happened. I was staying with these people, very nice people, and they didn't eat pork. So by me not eating pork, I was healing faster than what I was, than, you know what I'm saying, than normal. Yeah. So now I went to the doctor, he told me that I'm allergic to pork. Pork caused me to have um, pores problems. As, what do you mean by pores problem is mean that, as you know, a pig doesn't have sweat glands. Yeah. So a pig doesn't sweat. So therefore, the meat that I'm, you know, what most people say, where well, it's good, and you know, you're supposed to, it clogs my pores. Wow. So by it, it make clogs, you not, make you not sweat. Yeah, it <laughs> makes me not sweat. The clogs the bacteria in my skin. So therefore, I have, I'm a healthy person because the doctor said you're very healthy, mm -hmm. but the bacteria and my liver is fighting off my white blood cell, is fighting off the pore, uh, fighting off the pores, the poison that's in my body that's caused by pork wow. that I'm allergic to. So it's best to know your blood type when you're dealing with certain types of food. Good. I didn't know bananas make me gain weight, and I've been skinny for a long time. Wow. Bananas make me gain weight. If I eat a, if I eat bananas, I can gain weight. Didn't know that. Wow. See what I'm saying? And they you said that was the potassium. Yeah. The doctor said that that was the potassium that was gain, was giving me the uh, nutrients that I need to make me gain weight. So now I know what to do to gain weight. Eat bananas. Wow. And I've been skinny all my life. Yes. you still skinny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, we still have to do a follow-up, man. Like I said, now you see in the steps I was talking about the blood type. You didn't think it was that important. Well, now you realize your blood type tells everything you need to eat, what you don't need to eat, and you have a good life. Yep. True. So let's do part two of this. You gotta get that biscuit back in you and we gotta clean your blood out once again. Yep, once again. You really have to clean that blood out once again. Alright, Mike. Alright, thank you. <laughs> wow, you wild dog. I make things real nice. I know man. Alright, you be one of your spoke person. And that's what I'm trying. Hibiscus is very good for you. As you can see through the pictures, Mike Larry head will had pus puck coming out of it. But it's days of just drinking sixteen ounces hibiscus a day so basically he drank an eight ounce cup in the morning eight ounce cup around midnight around nighttime and it did a great job for him and you can see the benefits as well of hibiscus it's good for lowering your high blood pressure has a lot of vitamin c it boosts your immune system by having a lot of iron um, in it it's low as your cholesterol and also helping weight loss and it's definitely good for mental clarity so once again, we recommend the hibiscus for just heels, having wounds, high blood pressure, and things as such. Because Mike was doing real good until he started eating that pork. And I recommend to all our clients, eat according to your blood type. I'm blood type O, so definitely pork is out of my um, repertoire. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to know about your blood type. Um, either look it up. Or you can give us a call on our numbers on our card 252-407-8020. And once again, Mike Larry was doing real good.